Joining us live via Skype to speak on the lockdown is an energy consultant engineer, Ugo Ojizuru. Good morning, Mr. Ugo. Good morning, Amaka. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, and hope you are keeping safe where you are. Definitely. Now, let's talk about the lockdown. Uh, how are you coping uh, with the lockdown so far? Um, well, I would say um, we're all coping very well and um, also seeing what is happening at home in Nigeria. Nigerians are um, equally trying to make the best out of the situation from all I can see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Very well. I'm hearing you very okay. well. Okay. Yeah. So some of the challenges that people have expressed, especially here in Nigeria, I'm not sure whether you saw the report or not, is the fact that having to stay in 14 days can be sickening. What do you recommend people need to do at this time to be able to stay safe and sane at the same time? Um, exercising would be um, one quick recommendation I would make. Um, but I was following some, um, in, you know, some news feed on social media earlier on in the day and i saw somewhere in bagada where soldiers were um kind of um you know giving out corporal punishments to people whom they saw on the streets exercising um, i think um the exercising should be a very good recommendation and um, we wouldn't expect the police or the soldiers to be more of um, an obstruction, but perhaps people should be encouraged to practice appropriate um, distance, you know, social distancing measure. But exercising should be one very important, um, you know, recommendation I would make. And just to be clear, are you saying the action of, you know, uh, those, uh, the police arresting those who were exercising is not justified in your own opinion? Um, in my own opinion, I don't have all the um, facts. Like I told you, I saw a feed on social media, and um, naturally, you would want to be very cautious with what you are saying. Mm. But if what I read on social media turns out, you know, happens to be what it is, my advice would be that um, the security agencies should um, issue an advisory on how people should conduct themselves. But I think people should be allowed to step out and get some fresh air or exercise perhaps not in the you know in untoward numbers on the road on the streets because we still need to adhere to the social distancing protocols but to sit down at home all day um, in nigeria we know we don't have 24 hours um, electricity it's um, a stretch on its own um, people have children they will still need to make sure the children are kept constructively busy either um, kind of uh, maybe attending to school work or whatever, but children also need to be kept busy while adults would need to step out and exercise. That's my thinking. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what you do now as an engineer. How has this affected your work? Well, it has, um, it has affected work uh, to the extent that um, we cannot hold uh, physical meetings. We have to perhaps um, connect um, via various uh, means, um, you know, Google has helped us develop a whole, you know, um, you know, an array of um, communication tools. Mm -hmm. We also use the WebEx to communicate with um, colleagues in the office and um, partners and clients, as the case may be. Moving forward, we are not sure whether this uh, lockdown is going to be extended or not. Um, are you one of those who would say, well, let's quickly go back to normal life, or you have developed a new normal already? I wouldn't say I've developed a new normal already. Um, I think the lockdown should be extended. I already read um, um, in the news um, there's a, a seven-day extension for Abuja, um, Lagos, and Okun states. I think um, it should be extended a bit more until government ramps up testing, because from what I can see, um, the numbers in Nigeria still look very low. Uh, we're happy about that, glad to read that always. But um, the fact may be because we are not testing as much as we ought to be testing. So when we begin to test as much as we ought to be testing, it might be a different ball game. So we need to be careful. We don't have the best of health healthcare systems already. So we, we really need to be careful about that. So 
it's not about you know having adjusted to the new normal, but it's about ensuring that we um, have a very healthy population. All right, thank you so very much, Charles, and do stay safe where you are.